Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Squad Builder. Welcome to the Great Wall of Swansea. That's what I've decided to call it, right? So it's not the Great Wall of China, it's the Great Wall of Swansea, simply because of three players that make up my midfield, and we'll get to them in a moment. But other than that, this is a regular squad builder, which I think is a really nice team that you guys could go out and build. It doesn't completely and utterly break the bank either, which is, of course, what you're looking for at the start of the game. So, in goal today, we start with Jose Reina, the Spaniard goalkeeper. is actually high-rated, 83 overall, plays for Napoli, of course, which is a, a great way to, like, hybrid out you got Spain and you got Italian league that's where we're going to start today I actually found him to be all right most goalkeepers are a little bit sort of meh for me uh, but his reflexes and his distribution was actually pretty good as well uh, so starting goal with Reina now we move on to the defense and the defense is looking pretty solid I'd say the weak link is this guy it is uh, Mario Rui um, he's very quick of course but other than that, the defending and physical aspects of his game are not the greatest, that's for sure. But on the right-hand side, we've got Pizcek, who is very solid, but his pace is not the greatest. But I don't think that really matters too much. He, you know, 79 pace on a right-back. If he's got good defending and physical stats, actually, that's not too bad at all. And I found him to be a very, very solid player. Now, moving on to the centre-backs. The first one, we, we stay in the Bundesliga. We stay at Dortmund with Mark Bartra. He gets the link to the goalkeeper and the right-back, of course. Uh, Bartra's very quick. 77 pace. Also, 74 dribbling on a centre-back, which is good. And good defensive stats as well. Alongside the man mountain, that is Koulibaly. 84 rated this year. And, of course, he does cost around 10,000 coins. But I think he's worth it. Unreal, aggressive defender, so much height, he's got pace, 85 defending and 86 physical, yeah, that's right, he is going to be a beast for you, but it is all about these three guys in the midfield, uh, and it's the, it's the sole reason I wanted to make this video today, the Great Wall of Swansea, three absolute beasts in the centre of midfield, for Swansea in the Premier League this year, Roque Mesa. Now, this guy is a cheap version of the FIFA 17 Kante. He is an absolute god on the game. Uh, trust me. Just put, put him into a team. Let him do some work. He just buzzes around, collecting the ball, intercepting. He's a beast. And then we have Leroy Fur, six foot two, man mountain, stats across the board that are ridiculous. He got a goal for me, got an assist, and overall was just a really hard working player in the midfield. He wins the ball back a lot, but it's all about this guy. It is Renato Sanchez, once again on FIFA, even though he has a downgrade from FIFA 17, he is still an unreal player on FUT 18. Like, again, stats across the board, great. His passing doesn't look that great. But as you can see, he's got assists for me. He's also got goals for me on FIFA 18. And I love him. He he just buzzes around the whole pitch, doing everything. Scoring goals, mopping up, and all sorts of stuff. And then the front three is interesting. We've got a Mexican who plays in the Eredivisie, who is Lozano. Four-star skills and weak foot on the Mexican. He's got 93 pace and 81 dribbling. And I really enjoyed him. He's a very tricky player to have at this stage in the game done some defenses like just they they struggled with him that's for sure we then have Quincy Promes 82 rated the Dutchman from the Russian league has got 89 pace and 82 dribbling alongside a great shooting stat there of 81 he's got four star skills and weak foot high low work rates on him and then an inform from this week's team of the week we've got Locadia Losadia I'm not sure how you pronounce that name maybe some Dutch guys in the comments could let me know but he's got 83 pace 82 dribbling and passing 86 shooting and 81 physical six foot one beastly striker yeah i can see that he's only got two star skill moves but a four star weak foot uh, it's, yeah that's this whole team just works it's a great great squad so obviously your main expensive players there are gonna be koulibaly renato sanchez and locadia up front uh, but other than that it's a relatively affordable team especially for this point in the game it, just trust me on the Swansea thing because I was surprised to see that like Swansea had got three like really good 
uh, playable players on or usable players on FIFA 18 because in previous FIFAs there's not really been many like Swansea players or uh, I guess like the the mid to lower table Premier League sides don't often have that many good players maybe they have like one or two that stand out and do really well on FIFA but a lot of the time they don't have uh, like a whole bank of midfielders that can do stuff so I was very impressed now I scored goals with both Fur uh, and Renato Sanchez but Renato Sanchez was literally nearly joint top scorer or something for me, which is just mad. He's everywhere. Literally everywhere. He runs around with those dreadlocks and stuff, bossing the midfield, just basically getting the whole team hard working, playing well. And he's just like, he's arriving at the back post there. He's a centre midfielder. What's he doing there? But he's in the right space to score a goal in the fifth minute. And I'm already 1 0 up in that particular game. <clears throat> so. Couldn't recommend a player as much as him in this team. Uh, the other like, most important player is Roque Mesa, as I mentioned earlier. The amount of times that guy just clears up and really does act like a Kante from last year. Probably like a Kante from this year as well. I haven't had the pleasure of using Kante yet. He's a very expensive player on FIFA 18. Um... But he's got pace, his dribbling's alright, he's got good defending and physical stats in my opinion. And he's, he's kind of small, but that doesn't really matter. What he does do really well is just run around that defensive midfield spot, mopping up the ball and getting those interceptions, which is definitely a really important thing in FIFA 18. I tweeted a picture of that the other day, uh, of Renato Sanchez doing that celebration. It like, looks really cool. And that's a bit of a banger, to be fair, from someone that's only got like... 72 shooting in game or something i don't know it's a bit crazy um but we score goals with basically everyone i uh, i think my front five so my two cms my two wingers and the striker all did pick up a goal or two at least uh in 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 the succession of games that we played once again i'm still having issues with uh, my connection just keeps like oh well i just keep getting booted out of games randomly uh, whenever the ball goes out for a goal kick my players are like really terribly positioned they're all half off the pitch and stuff it's like bugged out and then the game just shits itself and i end up uh just like getting booted from the game which is not great so it's ruining my player records as i've said before um so that's why like lacadia or lasadia however you say his name is not looking like a goal a game striker but he pretty much was uh and, and like, i actually really liked him for for a, a very cheap inform so far this week, I think I picked Lasadia up for 13,000 coins, maybe even a bit less. That's crazy. Like, he's got stats that nearly rival the likes of Morata. I think he's actually got better shooting than Morata, which uh, obviously you're going to pay a premium for a striker like that. But we're getting to his goals in just a moment. You've seen a couple from uh, Quincy Promes right there. Another one of my favourite celebrations is the the fate or the knee slide fail, uh, where he just runs off, tries to do the knee slide, realises the ground's a bit too hard, uh, and completely falls on his face. But yeah, here are the goals that I scored with the Dutchman in form. Look at that to start things off. Complete and utter banger. Uh, he picks the ball up in lucky circumstances, but takes one touch, and then just across the keeper, high into the net. What a goal that was. And he'll score that type of goal, but he'll also score like the the well-worked, crafted goal from inside the box. Like that type of thing. I found that even with his two-star skill moves, what it does make me do is really think about how I'm dribbling. So when I'm on the left-hand side like that, I've got to do like a, a, a cut inside. I've got to do like a ball roll cut inside type thing or like a, a drop the shoulder type thing. I'm not quite sure what it's actually called. Um, but it's one of the like the low-level things that, like, that two-star skillers can actually do. Uh, and I, I, did, I did actually score a couple of goals like that. And it seems that maybe if I was to do that with some four-star skillers as opposed to doing some of the more fancy tricks, which I end up getting defended against... It could be useful. So, um, he will score you tap-ins. He will score you absolute bangers. And I imagine, being six foot one with the physical and stuff that he's got, he'll also be good in the air as well. But that's not typically my game. I haven't really worked out crossing yet. That's a nice goal. That was like an RB sort of drag back, turn inside type thing. And then, as I've previously said in other videos, if you make sure you hit that low driven shot from inside the box, even if there's a load of defenders around there, typically it doesn't get like deflected or anything like that. It just seems to go through the defenders and into the back of the net. Another a good example of this type of goal here where I cut inside hit the finesse shot low driven round sort of around the goalkeeper but just inside that post uh, hits the side net and then fl flies round and all that sort of stuff 
But yeah, he's a beast. I I wasn't expecting him to be so cheap. When I saw his stats, I knew that he was potentially going to get an inform because people had been predicting it and stuff. And when I saw like the potential stats, I was like, whoa, if he does actually get one, we've got a bit of an error to VZ Beastly Striker here. And I think we normally kind of struggle with Dutch Strikers on FIFA. So we've already got a very usable one, uh, which I think you could probably even bring back to Cam if you wanted to with that 80 passing that he's got. Yeah, he doesn't have the greatest of dribbling and he doesn't have the skill moves. But at this point in the game, like so far, I've got to say that that's been hardly necessary just simply because... Everything is going everywhere and we're all scoring loads of goals, so he's going to work in that situation. But if you've enjoyed today's video, guys, make sure you do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new around here. Have a good one. I'll catch you next time. Peace.